In this demonstration, we're going to see how we can model a custom four-way valve using SIM hydraulics. In our model, we have used a standard SIM hydraulics block to model the valve. This block approximates much of the dynamics going on within the valve so that the simulation can run more quickly. Now we want to create a version that's more complex. It has the same connections to the pump and tank and A and B ports. However, the dynamics of the spool are included where an electromechanical actuator controls the flow of hydraulic fluid such that the hydraulic pressure moves the spool. This connects the pump and tank to the A and B ports and can operate in both directions. We also want to include the effect of hydraulic forces in our valve, where as the hydraulic fluid flows past the spool, a hydraulic force acts to close the, or the opening. We want to model this valve within the Simulink environment using Simscape and Sim Hydraulics. This is what the valve will look like and we'll see that we can enable and disable the hydraulic forces. We'll see the effect this has in simulation. I'll now move over to the model so you can see how this is done. Here is the model that we're working with. A double acting hydraulic cylinder extends and contracts to position the bucket at the end of a backhoe arm. The backhoe arm has been modeled using sim mechanics. Here you can see a three dimensional animation of the backhoe arm. Control of hydraulic fluid going to and from the double acting hydraulic cylinder is done using a four-way directional valve. We have used the standard SIM hydraulics valve which approximates the dynamics of the spool using the valve actuator. This allows the simulation to run very quickly. Now we would like to create a higher fidelity version of the valve model that includes additional effects. What I'm going to do is substitute the standard block for a custom block built using SIM hydraulics and SIMscape components. Now when I go into the subsystem, you can see how we have modeled the valve. This diagram shows what the valve looks like. The electromechanical actuator, which controls the flow of fluid, is created using these blocks. Hydraulic fluid flows in and out, and the hydraulic pressure acts to move the spool. These hydraulic passages have been modeled using orifice blocks. The pressure, the hydraulic pressure that is applied to the spool, is done through this connection. Going into this subsystem, we can see the blocks that were used to model the spool. This subsystem models the hydraulic passages connecting the pump and the tank to orifices A and B, or the A and B connections to the hydraulic cylinder. Going into this subsystem, we can see that standard orifice blocks have been used to model these connections. If I want to add the effect of hydraulic forces, I can substitute in another variant for these passages here. Now when I go into the subsystem, you can see that the structure is the same. We're still connecting the pump and the tank to ports A and B, but now instead of just using the standard orifice block, we have added the spool orifice hydraulic forces block, which models the effect of hydraulic forces on the spool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a MATLAB script to test the effects of hydraulic forces on this spool. This MATLAB script will run the simulation twice, first without the forces or neglecting the effect of the forces, and then a second time, including the hydraulic forces. The resulting plots show the effect of hydraulic forces on the valve. You can see that using Simulink, it is very easy to add or neglect forces in your model, as well as to substitute in different variants of the valve to have the level of fidelity that you need. In this demonstration, we have seen how we can model a custom four-way valve using Sim Hydraulics.